Gemini's welcome. This is your heart spread read for mid-December. This mid-December read will be for the one that you just can't get out of your head. That one you just can't get out of your head. Here you are, and here they are. And the bottom of the deck, this is the very reading itself. This is the one that you just can't get out of your head. Let's talk about them here. Clarify if need be. So this is your energy in and around love and relationship as you come into relationship with this person. If it's not ongoing or new, brand new, then perhaps uh, think back to when this relationship started with this energy here because it's just a baseline for where you were at. A little bit of a petulant looking king, distracted. Um, emotionally, you know, you very well might have a lot of cancer, or Mercury, or your personal planets, Venus, Mars, who knows, uh, with the luminaries, but um, this is you being emotional and open. This could be you're at a state of your life where maybe you're more emotional than you normally are. I see here, too, a king with a sense of vulnerability, and I always think with the kings, and particularly the cups here, um, that their only real vulnerability, king or queen, is is their heart. You know, no one's going to get to them, stab them. You know, they got they got uh, armies and palace guards and personal guards, and it's just you know the only way you're vulnerable is in your heart. And this is you um, maybe becoming in your life in general somehow vulnerable and open in your heart. Not even saying that's bad, but it's like as opposed to maybe before. You know, you were maybe doing your own thing or something. And immediately I got the thought with your person here. Because here they are in and around relationships and love. And you have the nine of wands. And I thought to them, you know, they're busy doing me. You always hear that, doing me. Uh, you should do you. They're just do. I don't think it's a thing. I don't think they would, they would probably laugh if you said that. But that's exactly what they're doing, you know. Um, and honestly, I see this whole reading like an affair, like if you probably had an affair or are having an affair or want an affair, or something going on. Um, it's intensely um, sexual and it's just very interesting with the advice here. I'll get to that. Advice from spirit is here for you and advice from your person is from spirit is here for them. That's for them to react in the relationship best for your highest good to you and how for you to react to them for the highest good in terms of the, this as a relationship. Two very important cards. Here's the advice from Spirit. We're going to get a different interpretation of the Two of Swords from me because it's really hit me hard, Gemini's. Uh, this could be North Node stuff, one degrees. I mean, it's really uh, could be all relationships are important, but just because it's a fair or if it's sexual, something blows up like that. I'm not condoning it or not. That's not the point. We're just whatever. We're human, right? But, um, you know, nothing's an accident. Even even sex is not an accident, you know. Um, because when they approach you in relationship, this card here now that reads, what's their feelings towards you? And this is a good worker card. It's always positive. It's very interesting uh, that they have the pregnancy on this card. Uh, this is Klimt Art Deck, so it's a little different. Uh, I always try to take into account the difference in the art of the card, particularly here. It's so evocative. Um, but it, it's, I think that this is someone that compartmentalizes their lives. If you look at this most deeply, um, they're kind of selfish, honestly. And this is not necessarily selfish bad. Like, for instance, if they haven't made a commitment to you or someone, then it's not really selfish if they're busy on the weekend doing whatever they're doing. Right? Um, and but so I think they kind of compartmentalize so it's like you're in this compartment of their life but it's like you're not in these other compartments like maybe you don't really know much or are involved much with their work department maybe in term they may have uh, compartmentalized uh, friends and associates uh, you know someone like this it's usually people do this uh, reasons of emotional safety and protection these are old patterns we learned from childhood not always bad. I mean, sometimes this can work out. You get Virgo personalities. I'm not seeing. I'm sorry. I'm not really associating a sign over here with your person on this reading, Gemini. 
but clearly a behavior, you know, um, so it's like they would be available sometimes and not available others and quite rigid about it. Like, don't, well, I told you when I'm in a session or whatever, uh, I have to be incognito or uh, however that might work for them. Um, but you're coming in really hard. Um, you're already kind of ready to fall emotionally. And then you come in here with the Ace of Cups. It's a beautiful Ace of Cups, you know. Um, and it just shows you just swooning. So there's obviously more than sex. You know, cups are emotions. Uh, in fact, like, it's like I sort of almost, I see them kind of, uh, you know, most likely a fire sign here, Gemini, you know, Aries or Leo or Sag. But think Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus too. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> you know, you're coming in mostly with a lot of feeling. And they're coming in kind of with the Eight of Pentacles too. I mean, it's a little bit mercenary, too. It's it's slow, it's feelings, it's it's almost, you could say most literally, like they consider you like they might work. So, you know, they might be kind of compartmentalizing you in your relationship or the relationship with you if you were to dig down into it in the way that they might compartmentalize projects at work or things that they do like that. Um, and, you know, then we have the advice for you from Spirit being strength. Um, speaking a lot to Leo, you also could have Leo in your personal energy could be relevant right now. When, but this is advice from Spirit, so I take it strongly and how best to react to this person. And for one thing, and you look at the card here, dude, take into account. So this is an erotic art deck. Um, it appears to me like there's a lot of passion and when spirit is putting this here and then for them too I feel like their advice towards you they come in here now with the queen of wands even more clearly a card of passion they're both kind of a cards of being yourself you know um, in, in some sense this relationship maybe because it, it, it is an affair Again, a judgment, whatever, it, because it was an affair, it's something, it's, uh, you're in this energy, here's what Spirit's saying for the relationship as a whole. And I forget the normal kind of meaning of the Two of Swords, other than it is your thoughts and communication. And so you, it, it literally could be like, this is the energy you find yourself in when you're together. So it's a very dramatic uh, Leo here. And, you know, this could be, again, a fire sign energy, this uh, person. Um, and, and with spirit advising it, it's like uh, you really need to work out this passions together. But this is a very difficult communication. It's like it's, it's also kind of saying, like, um, this is going to cause you pain. Like, uh, under the construction that you have now, this relationship going to have you cause you pain yes you have a relationship here but as it continues it's going to cause you pain um and it's i'm not really sure with these advice uh let me get a clarification here on that spirit temperance wow <laughs> so i wanted to get kind of advice on on the advice relationship as a whole particularly as i see this in between this advice is kind of like, go for it, go, go, go. And then it's like, but expect to be really not to be easy or fun. Expect to have to deal with some heavy, hard stuff, you know. And as advice comes temperance, Sagittarius card, Gemini, you could be dealing with the Sag, throw that out there. Sagittarius could be significant, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. In your natal, uh, in your progress charts by transit, you know. Uh, we do have the north node going through there. It is your opposite of your sun. So um, many things like that. But it's kind of like advice to um, be patient here. you got to see that as an advice card. And it's the, uh, the card really means be patient. Um, and the outcome here is the devil. So it seems to me like... I would say this like this, if this is your reading, this is kind of important. I wish I didn't quite get the devil in focus, but uh, that helps to get much closer. But it, it kind of best case scenario, you work this out and you have this relationship, um, but it's based upon, it's this energy, you know? 
Um, and I was going to say, there's like this drama that comes with th this energy. That's this. Um, uh, maybe that what goes. I always say like a relationships that the stuff that gets us. It's not that they're like our mom or dad or whatever. Um, the feeling they give us is like the feeling we had from our mom and dad or when we were little. And I think that could be like what's coming up here, Jim and I. And, um, you know, it's saying that this is kind of what you're going to get um, is this feeling. And it's that uncomfortable feeling here with the devil. I um, mean, you could go with Capricorn, you have Pluto there at 25, all kind of stuff going on there. Uh, but as an outcome in the heart spread, um, it's going to be, you're going to be forced to deal with your darker shadow stuff here. Obsessions, um, you know, passion, jealousy, control issues in terms of love and relationship, um, all kinds of things like this. And there's, when it's like this, it's like you, you'll see it in, in your sinistry. You love to do sinistry, so if you know how to do that, do it. There's a lot of good sites and get some basic sinistry stuff that can be I think pretty right on and pretty helpful uh, if you have the time of your lover particularly. Um, but, you know, my thing with this here too is like uh, you really want to look at it, drill down into it and understand it and respect it. It's all soulmate stuff, whether it is or is not like the one that's forever. Uh, there's something here going on important. And I always feel like, of course, if we don't kind of understand it, then we're just going to repeat it, right? So this is like the devil's, you know, see the soul family read the day before yesterday. I was like, the devil gets his due is the title of my soul family read. And see if that's not for you, because the devil gets beaten by two kings and a queen. And it ain't easy. But I could see that happening here. You know why? Because I see temperance here coming in. It's a little bit of hope to me. It's like, you know, um, it could have some hope um, for this. It's going to take time with temperance, though. So thank you, guys. Let me know what you think of this. If you can think of anywhere to share it, please do. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do hit the bell. I do have a reading schedule, so I do all signs every week. Um, normally, I'm a day behind. I'm sorry, Gemini. You're Tuesdays. Gemini and Cancer Days here. <laughs> thank you, guys.